Hello friends, for today's project, we are heading over to Africa. So the kind of thing I want to start this project new year here is um, I want to go with the kind of African theme uh, mask. There is tons of different designs and reasons why they wear them. And I will post below here a link to some of the beautiful art um, masks, <coughs> excuse me, of another video um, that I found on YouTube. And so I was thinking about using cardboard. I, was I wanted to quickly show you, I just have some bottles here holding this down, but uh, I got this glycerin from the drugstore. I'm having in this bottle a really good thick mixture of glycerin and water. I would almost say I don't even know, I just poured it in there, but I could really see, you could really see, maybe you guys can see the cloudiness going through there. Can you see that? So it's pretty good, thick mixture. And I'm going to use that to soften my cardboard here because glycerin helps make it almost like a leathery texture in past what I've used it for. So this is kind of my test to see if I could shape the cardboard to what I want. I'm going to do this, shape it, so I kind of have that shape, I want that shape of a mask, really, so, the bottom part of the face I'll just leave to last for now, I'm just going to try to see what I can do with this, to see, like I said, I didn't want to use um, something that I had to buy, like a mask from the store, as a, um, pattern or anything like that. One thing that's so, really cool is that I was researching how people make masks in other countries and they have these big stone bowls and you know how they grind the they grind they have the crush. Stone. Well like in India they were doing that where they were ripping up paper, cardboard paper, whatever paper they had recycle to recycle. So they're still doing this to make their masks. Crushing it and then they take pulp from branches, little branches, like thin twigs, and they the fresh green pulp, and they're peeling it, and then they, and they, they break them off, and then they're crushing that pulp, or that skin, whatever juices come out, into that mixture of the pulp that they're making with the, the stone. I'm like, that is so cool. So that's how they make it. And then they have a base with, like, a clay base, um, out of, like, maybe earth or something that they form a face on and I, that's what I'm missing and I'm, I could use clay or something I'm thinking what not maybe not everyone has clay on hand I don't know so I didn't want to make you guys go buy anything so I'm trying to see if I can work it so in my mind Anyways, that was really cool. So in my mind, I'm going to have kind of an oval. I should have drawn this out earlier. Shape. Mask. And, of course, we can, like, um, add to it later. But right now, I'm just kind of trying to... Okay, so I am just... I was shaping it. It's still wet. I'm going to try to do the eyes, maybe. I don't know. I kind of put it to my face and... Pushed in a bit. I know I got carbroid on my face. The nose will go here, and then I'm gonna do um, a mouth of sorts. So that is going to be basically it. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I'm probably gonna leave it on here and work on it like this, and then not worry about this as much as this the forehead part. Just so I think I'm just going to stick, I folded it, and see, it's so pliable now, I can do almost anything. I folded it, and I'm, it's still wet, so I can put the hole in. I'm just going to try to make the eyes symmetrical, as can be, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I know we're not, it's not going to be really meant to be worn, but I kind of wanted it to be, so I'm not quite in the same spot on the other side with the eyes. That's good. So I was totally crooked on drawing my eyes there. So I 
I have a ton of them here. I just kind of, whoops, fill them in underneath here for my bottom of my face. That works. These are just mechanics um, paper towels, and they're just so sturdy and strong that they work for me. So I keep saving them, and then okay, I tape this to the um, my surface. I'm just gonna move it up a bit because I realize my bottom is really close. Now, so you guys, I could be totally off on wetting the cardboard, but I kind of like the idea of shaping it a bit more. Um, so I'm going to use toilet paper now, and I'm going to use my, this is not Mod Podge in there, but it is glue and water if I could open it. And um, it's just a mixture of glue and water, and I'm going to add more school glue, and I'm going to do uh, like a paper mache with my toilet paper kind of a thing. Um, to this mask, the toilet paper, and then I can totally build up from there. So this is why I have my little half sphere in here. So if you guys have one from drying your, I use this one for drying my beads and stuff like that. So, and then I have my old but tissue. I just use a lot of toilet paper and I had my stash of toilet paper in my room here. So that's why I'm using it. And it's going to be a messy job, guys, so just saying. Now, if you want, you can build up on a mask. If you have a mask from the dollar store, you could just put a little bit of something. If you want to save the mask, you can put something on it, like um, cling wrap and a little bit of Vaseline on the cling wrap, and then it'll come apart. And then you can use it as a mold. Um, I just wanted to not to show that you don't have to buy something. If you have cardboard, glue, water, something to help you form it. So I kind of want that down. And also, kitchen roll will be thicker, but. You can also use um, regular um, ways to do it as like uh, paper mache with, you know, your recycled um, newspaper or whatever too. And you can also make a nice paste with the, the toilet paper um, if you wish. And that will, you will require your mixer and you just unroll, unravel the roll, do a mixture of like a glue mixture and um, compound mixture and kind of go with consistency, consistency that you like. It's got to be kind of like a Play-Doh consistency, not too crazy hard or anything so you can control it and um, form it and that kind of thing. And then you can also store it away to some of it so that's really handy to, to have but I'm just kind of playing with it like this but the newspaper would work really nice too I just don't want to still tell. working on it square by square now um, little smaller strips to add to the edges and everything. So what I do is I take my square and I'm adding it to where I think it needs it. And it's going to be really wet, but it's like, you know, it's not even really all that overly sticky or anything. So it's kind of, it's kind of fun. And you notice it's looking maskesque, <laughs> masky. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to continue around the eyes. And so I got yeah. a few pieces here that I'm liking. Okay, so I'm going to get a big nose happening. How big? Not sure. So here's the big part here of the nose. I might add to that. Um, and you notice this is really easy to kind of just push the tissue around. I like that. And 
moving that down and I'm just moving it with my fingers now really and it really works well like look it's like already like um, a, a soft clay almost on there and I got some black from something probably paint you could really have lots of fun with this guys and just play and and keep forming so um His nose is coming up really nice, and I'm adding the pulp that I made in by hand here, just in my hand with the glue and water. It's going to take a long time to dry. It's going to be worth it. Um, so I think I'm going to make a really, oh, maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what kind of nose I want to make. I'm going to make more mache kind of put the nose coming out that's what i'm gonna do so i'm still adding to the nose i'm kind of liking where i'm going with this i've been making um some kind of toilet paper pulp stuff in my hand um mixing up with the glue and the water here and just it's just it's kind of messy but it's fun and it makes like a nice see pliable stuff here and so I'm making the nose kind of come out but flat like a duck nose almost here and seeing what I like it's gonna be thick it's gonna take a while to, to dry this one so I'm gonna still working it guys I'm getting the eyes I made lots I'm just making more of the paper pulp in my hands um this is just kind of like when I'm saying paper pulp, I'm just mixing glue, water, and tissue paper in my hands. And you guys cannot see how awesome this is yet because it's so uh, white. <laughs> it's like blur. I might be able to get closer. I just want to make... But this is working really good, like a nice clay here. And I'm just wanted to show you guys a little bit me more working it. It's kind of hard when you have a video and you don't want it to be like super long, but you got to like, you kind of got to show what you're doing. So it gets kind of hard and I'm kind of making it as I go along too. Uh, because I've never quite done it before like this, so it's, you know, an experience for me as well. So, kind of learning it together. So I made some cheek balls. <laughs> me and my cheek balls, nose balls, all that stuff. I'm weird. I know. But... A little mini chin ball anyways I don't know I just, I'm gonna make them nice and rosy I think I have the thing lately the rosy cheek balls and the, all my projects lately so it's looking really rough right now but it's gonna come together and oops <laughs> missing everything and So I still am working with my, my toilet paper. Now that I'm done kind of with my stuff, I'm going to start ripping my squares out here just to go over some of the things that I want to kind of make sure stick well. So I'll be using it kind of like toilet paper tape and doing what I've done before where I'm rolling it in half and just kind of going over my little eyebrow there just like that. And, you know, I'm going oops gonna try to keep it where it is helping keep my eyebrow on just like that so it's kind of sealing it on if you know what I mean now I'm gonna see if I can get this closer here see my hands are not terribly sticky they are but they're not same time crazy 
I don't know if you guys can get this. And of course I'm having the weirdest angle on my tripod. I don't know if you're getting this um, because it's so white. But this is like what I'm saying here. Now I'm just kind of going over the pieces I made, like the pasted over. So then it's, it really holds on good. After this, guys, I'm going to be able to sand it down to get some of the roughness out if I want to. Um, if I feel that I need it thicker, any spots, I can work on that. So it's going to be, this is the toilet paper and paper towel. When you use it, it's so uh, strong and it's so smooth compared to um, magazine paper or not magazine but newspaper to me so I really like working with it I find it really easy so yeah you might have bumps or whatever you just kind of work on it and oops, um, easy to sand down with a nice sand paper block or sandpaper see and now that is going to be a nice solid piece just like that so that's what I'm going to go over all my pieces I stuck on and kind of make sure they stay on really well. Nice and smooth. With my mixture of water and glue. And this is really wet. It's going to take a long time to dry. So we're going to see how fast I can dry it. That's going to be an experiment on its own. See how that's looking smooth now? And this side's all chunky because it's chunky toilet paper, but it's paste toilet paper, really. And now you can see how it's coming smooth on this side and how it's going to dry. And keep the stuff underneath, too, to keep it, um, you know, because it's going to be heavy, but it's holding it up so it's going to form nice like a mask should be, like the face kind of shape you know what I mean and now see how it's just nice it tears a bit and goes down into the where it needs to go that's why I love working with with toilet paper and paper towel although paper towel to me I never buy it very rarely <laughs> because I use the shop towels paper towels and so I never have them on hand. But anyways, isn't that nice? Now, if you could see it, I'm not, I can see it, but if you could see it, how smooth it's looking, that's the goal after is to do at least a layer of that to smooth it out. So you can see how chunky it is over here. And we're just going to put it over here and make a nice smooth layer right here. I'm going to have to add more glue and water in here, my mixture. But just like that, just take your time and go around the crevices. And now that's going to be like one piece, one piece. It's not like little pieces of toilet paper falling off anymore. If you kind of understand what I'm trying to get at. So this is like another piece of toilet paper. It's actually three pieces, one here, here, here. Then I made like the paste and then I made go around the eye. So now it's going to be protected from falling off. You know what I mean? When it dries or cracking because I have a layer holding it together. And that's what that's what I'm going to do all over the whole thing and then work on the drying. So I'll be back when I'm done covering the whole thing up.
couple little mm, shapes that are not appealing right now, but eh, the chin, the mouth, I think I put it a little crooked, but that's okay. So now I'm just using uh, a tool like a, you know, painting, scraping, whatever this is called. At the moment, my brain's like, eh. But um, now I kind of dry a little bit of the surface, but still really wet. But I'm just going over. It's working like a paste, so I can just kind of blend it in a bit more into the mask pieces. Um, fingers now are just going to get stickier unless you add glue to your fingers, and then you're just you, you need to start getting to the point where you want to dry it. So I'm um, just moving it to where smoothing anything out that you don't like. Um, you can even shape a little bit more with this. You can use uh, um, any kind of tool that you would use shaping. Um, I'm just using this. It's what I have on hand right here on my desk. And it's really like modeling paste or I don't know. It's soft. Um, and it worked really well. Um, I'm gonna ha I have a lot of footage that I did take, um, and a lot that I didn't. Um, making this, I wanted to make a good piece, so then at the end you guys can see like a really good piece. But I can't show you everything, or the video would be a couple hours long, probably. You know, um, so I did kind of hopefully explain them. Um, I did go over the whole thing again after with squares fold in half you've seen that I think now like I said and I want to make sure all my edges are nice and smooth and um, yeah that's what I'm doing now just like around the lips under the nose trying to smooth it out a bit where I can move the tissue paper mush and smooth it out a bit this is it so far guys I've been drying it for quite a while uh, it's still wet but this is what he's looking like I'm going to kind of give you a little bit I just over dried him right there I was like looking at my phone with me my bad but this is what he's looking like so I'm just going to continue trying to dry it enough so I can work with it um you guys I would suggest to let dry for however many days but of course I got the show must go on. I gotta keep making my video here. Right now I have nothing behind it. Well, I do have a little piece holding the chin up right here. This little um, ink bottle. Nothing's behind it. No sphere. Here's my sphere. Um, I put some edges here. I rolled up a little bit of tape. Uh, put some edges here to hold my edges from sliding down. And so now I have a free air coming in through here and here. So it's going to dry a little faster than having something stuffed behind it, I think. And I'm just going to keep drying it. I have toilet paper rolls behind here or paper towel rolls I cut to the side to hold it up. And these guys are holding the edges up because so I don't want it totally flat. I want a kind of a large forehead. And um, so I have one paper, one roll right here holding it. Yeah, right there holding that up. I have one holding the chin up right here. And that's what's holding it up from uh, spreading open a little bit. I don't want it like, it was kind of spreading open too much for me. And I was looking more like a hockey helmet rather than an African helmet, uh, mask to me. So, or a hockey helmet mask. So, this is what it's looking like so far. Um, again, showing it again but I just wanted to give you some ideas and ways to hold up if it's still moist or drying or better things than to have something that will this is only the edges are holding it up so it's not capturing and holding moisture in there so I think it's good I was holding a little bit I was having the heat tool going underneath as well as on top so it's you know drying both top and bottom and I think I'm going to add some paint now it's still wet but I'm going to add paint and try to be careful because of the making the video, I want to just do it. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I have my water ready here, and I'm going to go for my paints. My colors are all here. These are um, Americana um, multi surface. Um, so, so, satin, I have eggplant, I have uh, deep turquoise, I have coastal waters. Yes, 
I have um, school bus yellow. The orange is, I didn't mix it quite, so it's got some of the liquid oils or whatever they have in there. Pumpkin patch, and I have the red, which is called lipstick. So that's what I'm going with with the colors. We're going to see how this works. So I'm just going to use a smaller brush and paint it on. I know it's like I said I'm just hurrying it up because I know it's not dry but I will leave the back side so it can kind of air through to the back side for many days and then I can paint the back side if I wish right so that's what my plan is and now I know I have a lot of colors here and I am totally going to go wild with this one so We'll see. If I don't like it, I could always cover it up black. So. Kind of going with my old um, paintings I've been doing with my faces and stuff. So I'm going with those colors. I just love them. So just going with that. Because I like it. So, rinsing off some water here. This is the quickest way I could do this long project. <laughs> but I've probably been down here for who knows how long doing this. But it's fun. It's really fun. And I'm having a blast doing it. I'm probably also going to pull out the white and black. I don't know why I didn't pull that out. So, just because I'm being a little crazy with it, maybe. So, I'm going to go with the orange. And now I'm just doing what I normally do with my colors. Being a little on the crazy side. I could have gessoed it first, but I just, I don't know. I just thought, let's just get the paint down on here and see how it goes, how I like it. Now, African colors are really bright too, and some of them are really bright. Some of them are brown, some of them black and white. So it's just, you go whatever you feel, and I'm just like going with what I feel. And I really have been playing with these colors with my faces lately, so I'm feeling it. And I have no idea yet on the eye color. Let's see here, maybe purple. So I'm just drying this and I know I kind of like came on drying and adding some really weird dry brushing but I'm liking it and I'm kind of making the colors work together. It's a lot like what I do except for a little bit different like from my um, water paints you can just kind of blend easily but 
yeah so I'm kind of doing the same thing um, trying to blend in a few colors here make it look more like it all belongs and seeing like all the different parts but then they come together pretty well you know so that's it I'm kind of mold blending it in a way that it works in my mind anyway so um, I'm liking that and like I said before I wanted to do the black let's see how that looks black eyebrow we could always go over it if we don't agree but I kind of like some parts of it to be very strong in my other painting so let's see how it looks on my mask I'm kind of liking it so far and I can go is this one's not all the way to the bottom yet I'm just kind of at the top of the ridge but I could go all the way down to the bottom by making it thicker but right now we're seeing how this works and see how the unibrow goes now I'm going to go down the nose and I made a nice little deep canal kind of thing there with my pencil shaping it so I kind of like that and I could add some water pull some of the black away go down further and play with it and if I don't like it, I could always go over it after. So now I'm just thinning out the black to make the nose come out more. And I could always go over a little bit with other colors here. Or use my napkin to kind of just pull it out. And you know it's not quite symmetrical but that's okay because it's just fun and artsy and whimsical nothing's really symmetrical when you're doing that when you're doing whimsical and crazy so this is it so far I'm gonna have to probably lighten up the brow part here so what I'm gonna do is just put some of that see I'm just pushing wetting it here and then pushing my pulling it out because then I got the black in there still but I have the color coming through so it's like more like a stain that's kind of sometimes you just want the weird and that's what I want the weird So I'm pushing it in with the end of my there I like that better a little bit of color coming through um, yeah easier to blend in see I'm blend I'm blending it even though it's not watercolor it's okay with the water now I'm gonna grab my white if I could find my white and I'm gonna throw a little bit of white highlights around my face and I might add some gold to this yet crazy colors so you keep painting to what you like uh, I'm just adding things here and there and doing what I like I don't know he's kind of crazy but I'm liking them too at the same time crazy and unique and I 
You're liking them? I'm liking them. So, so I'm just highlighting some stuff with kind of a dry brush. I dried it pretty good too. Like, I don't know. You don't want a very stiff brush to, if it's not totally dry. Um, mm -hmm. But, Yeah. Doing the same thing here, kind of getting some of the white in the crevices of the black. So this is what he's looking like. I'm not sure. I put black around here, but I'm not sure how I like it. I'm just going to go over it with some white, maybe lighten it up a bit. The wash of the white here now. And... And kind of go over it. So this is how it's coming along, guys. I'd be very interested to see how your guys is uh, try out this project. If your guys are interested, it'd be pretty cool to share. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see your pictures. So you guys could uh, show me on Facebook, on Messenger, or you know, tag me in your pictures on my Facebook. That'd be great because then everyone can see and uh, it'd be wonderful to share your art with everyone, I think. So uh, just play with it and have fun. This is my rendition of an African mask. Basically using pieces from everywhere that I like, you know, that I was kind of researching. I'll put the link below so you guys can get some ideas on paint jobs or whatever kind of looks you want. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys really have fun with this project. I have had a blast with this project. So it's now I'm just going to let it sit and dry and basically show you guys what it looks like afterwards here when it's all said and done. I'll probably add some gold highlights and that kind of thing. And uh, yeah. Hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Don't forget to craft like a duck and I will talk to you guys later and I'll show some pictures at the end of this video and yeah, you'll get to see what it looks like. Done. Bye guys.